off the street. Mom couldn't find her. The police couldn't find her. She just disappeared. And about nine months later, as he explained on TV, she she came across a person who said, did you ever check Backpage? And well, what's Backpage? I, I never heard of it either. So, uh, so she, yeah, check Backpage. So she went on Backpage. She found her daughter's photograph on Backpage. <coughs> she had been sold into sex slavery. She was, and the young girl, was she was 13 years old at the time of the kidnapping. She found her, and she rescued her. I was like, Paul, I said, how can this happen? It's This is in the United States. This is not in a third world country where you couldn't have located it on a map. This is here in the United States of America. So I got my laptop and I went to Delaware Division of Corporations, Entity Search, and I put in Backpage.com, and there it was, registered in this state, domiciled in this state. I called my daughter. couldn't believe it. So that was a tipping point for me and a tipping point for Delta. We need to do more. We need to raise more awareness of this. So we decided to petition Delaware's Attorney General to appoint an independent counsel to investigate the abuses of Delaware's Women Liability Company Act. And that was in August. Uh, just a few months ago. The uh, very, very shortly got a lot of press. In fact, and, and I do want, I want to recognize all the groups that helped us with this, because uh, this is important. It's important that we work together to try to solve problems. Uh, Delaware Coalition for Open Government, Civic League for Newcastle County, League of Women Voters of Delaware, Delaware Press Association, American Promise Delaware, Delaware Get Money Out, Network Delaware, and I'm probably short one name, and I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I will, I may be, oh, Pockham and Terrace, those were the eight groups, and we petitioned the Attorney General to do this. Now, he has a, he had a lot of options, um, and uh, he, he did not appoint an Attorney General, rather he felt that this issue should be handled by the General Assembly, and We'll see how that works out. <laughs> okay, the General Assembly has the right to investigate, and they have the power to subpoena. I met with uh, a senator of his name I will not disclose at this time, and we spoke about this. And to his memory, the General Assembly, at least in the last two decades, has never investigated, has never formed an investigative committee to do this. So we'll see how that how that. And as you know, we do have another, a new Attorney General. She is concerned. If you saw today's newspaper on the front page, um, the, um, the uh, Attorney General is petitioning uh, Chancery Court to dissolve the certificate of formation of, of Backpage.com. Uh, which leads me to the last thing I want to talk about here, and that are reforms to the LLC Act. A couple years ago, um, uh, Couple years ago, 2017, uh, the summer of 2017, House Bill 57 was introduced to the Delaware Legislature. This was a uh, a bill to reform the Act. It was tabled in committee. Shortly thereafter, this was in the summer of 2017. Shortly thereafter, the back page issue came to light. The alleged money laundering by Paul Manafort came to light, and after that, uh, some reforms did occur. Uh, Secretary Bullock, the Delaware Secretary of State, uh, initiated guidelines to check the Office of Foreign Assets Control Sanctions list, to see if there's any bad actors on it, um, and also uh, a Senate Bill 183 was introduced and passed, and Senate Bill 183 gives uh, the Attorney General the power to uh, to uh, request a Chancery Court investigate a limited liability company to have its certificate of formation dissolved. And that was the article that was in today's newspaper that's actually happened. Um, to in brief, that's a little bit what's happening with LLCs. Uh, Delcog is still, you know, our noses to the grindstone, you know, our, our ears to the door, uh, and we will 
very carefully follow what's going to happen in the near future. Um, now, before I talk about the voting issues in 